G'day everyone, it's Tom Mack and welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've had the opportunity to sit down and do some filming. So gonna jump on the water tomorrow and hopefully be able to put my first Lake Hume yellow belly into the boat. Uh, we moved up to Albury around this time last year um, where the water wasn't quite right. The rivers were pumping, we were sort of still in floods. Um, and played around on the lake a little bit, but probably didn't give it as much time as I really needed to to figure it all out. So um, anyway, new seasons rolled around, cod seasons come to an end and time to jump out onto the water and have a bit of a play around with the spin gear again. Looking forward to uh, yeah, seeing if we can um, yeah put our first yellow belly into the boat. So got a couple of tactics that I'm probably gonna run straight away. The first one's gonna be throwing the lipless crankbait. Um, that's probably more just for casting at trees and seeing if I can pull something off, um, roll it through those forks and those sorts of things. Um, gonna have a bit of a play around with that, just see if I can get a reaction bite out of a fish. Um, but then those fish that I can probably see a little bit more on the screen and on the live tech, I'll probably play around with the brawler um, and throw the black grub. So I've just got a 10 pound leader, so just upped it a little bit from what I normally would for brim, um, locked up the drag, and that's just running a sixth of a, uh, a sixth of an ounce jig head, just on a light gauge hook. Um, not a big fan of running stingers like a lot of the other guys do. Um, if I need to, so be it. But yeah, my theory there, run that light gauge hook, um, that softer sort of tip on the rod, um, get them to be able to suck that bait in, get that good penetration of a light gauge hook. Um, and hopefully that's not an issue, but um, yeah, just not a big fan of, of running those stinger hooks if we can avoid it. So that's the plan for the next couple of days. Jump out on the water in the afternoon and fingers crossed we can put our first yellow belly into the boat for the 2023 season, um, heading into heading into summer. Um, really looking forward to, to see what we can figure out on this lake as the water temperature warms up. Um, so jump along, fingers crossed we can put our first yellow belly into the boat for um, from Lake Hume for the year. So follow along and hope you enjoy the footage. Cheers. Finally. <sighs> man, oh man, we work for that fish. That took way, way too long. Oh, that's a special fish though. Thank you, buddy. Wait. <laughs> Worked bloody hard for that fish. <clears throat> we moved to Albury about this time last year. Um, fished a fair bit of spring, but didn't go super hard. Wasn't really sure what I was doing with all the live tech. And um, put a lot of time out here, but probably using brim techniques that weren't quite fitting. Anyway, a bit of time on the water eventually paid off with my first Lake Hume Yeller and it's a good one, pretty stoked. Um, probably going to be around 50. Um, we'll give her a measure and stuff in a sec but making sure it's well and truly healthy. Giving him a good swim. He come up from high in the tree even though we're out in about 12 meters of water. Um, so I know it's not going to be a barotrauma issue didn't come from down deep, he was sitting up high and shot up and um, and ate the grub. But um, still just going to take my time, make sure he's all good. Water temp's nice and cool, so he's going to be fine. His fins are going away, his fins are kicking away nicely. So we'll um, yeah get, get a couple of photos, get a quick video, and then um, we'll release her. Yes. <laughs> Not a big fish, probably 53, but stoked with that. Finally, that took a, a long time coming. 
Still got a couple of hours though, so let's keep plugging away. Little fella, first one for the afternoon. Nice little fatty, probably, I don't know, 40, 42, 43. Fat fish though, chunky. Lovely fish, ate the black grub. Corner of the jaw. Another baby yellow. go another one another one of those beautiful fish just a little male i reckon pre-spawn nice condition nice shoulders but no go not what we're here for Better. Yeah. That's what they're looking for. It's a nice fish. Alright, support him. Alrighty. That is why you come to Lake Hume. That's a beautiful yellow. Just pulled off a little male. That sounds really bad. Try again. <laughs> and that's why you come to Lake Hume. Beautiful golden. Just off this tree, it's just cruising off. Pitched the grub in front of him and he turned the first time. Didn't quite get the angles right and then dropped it in on top of his head and he, he crunched it and screamed off on a locked up drag. 
pretty good fun. Get a quick measure and then send him home. Happy days. Whew. Worked hard for these fish, but that's number four for the afternoon, so it's definitely my best so far. We'll keep plugging away, still only early. The sun's still got plenty before it drops over the hills. Let's get a quick measure and get him back. You made a mess of that jig head. It's only a light wire, but I do prefer that. These fish are a little bit finicky, so you need that sharp tip. But last one bent it out as well, but don't haven't gotten haven't lost one because of the light gauge hook yet. So I keep running them until something goes bang. How good is that? And this is not what you're not meant to do. Bend them back. Still nice fingertip. Fingernail test, scratches are up, and she's sharp enough. Alrighty, let's pop that in there. Man, that's good. How fun is that? See him, come on dude. He's just there. Fella. As that little fella, pretty much right on cue. Rolled it over the top of a stick and he just come out, slowed it down and he ate it pretty much next to the boat. Saw him eat it. So I just saw that, sort of chasing after it, head up, slurped it down and ate it next to the boat. Pretty cool. Let him go. All right, not gonna be stupid enough to say that I've worked it out. So that's definitely not the case. But, going back two days, I hadn't caught a yellow belly out of Hume, and that's my seventh for today. Slowly starting to put little bits of the puzzle together, and that's all it is with fishing, just little bits at a time. It's a nice fish, nice healthy yellow belly. Give him a swim, get a couple of snaps, and then let him go.